Hello everyone, this is Dr. London, and I want to go over a sample uh, linear maximization problem. So this is from chapter 8, and this is the uh, par inc model. So this is uh, a standard linear programming maximization problem. So what we've got here is we've got this company par inc that's a small manufacturer of golf bags, and we've got a distributor that's agreed to buy all the bags. And there's four steps to uh, making this bag process. You've got cut and dry, sewing, finishing, and inspection. And then we've got some stipulations. Um, <clears throat> so the director analyzed each of the operations and concluded that uh, if the company produces a standard model, the bag requires 7 tenths an hour in the cut and dry, half an hour of sewing, an hour of finishing, and a tenth of an hour inspection. The other model they could make, the deluxe model, has an hour in cut and dry, 5 six in sewing, 2 thirds of an hour finishing, and a quarter of an hour in inspection. Um, according to the accounting department, the profit contribution will be $10 for a standard bag and $9 for a deluxe bag. And then further, uh, the director has stated that PAR has at most 630 hours of cut and die time, 600 hours of sewing, 708 hours of finishing time, and 135 hours of inspection. A lot of this is uh, very standard stuff. Um, you could imagine that they're working with some large machinery, and uh, these are uh, constraints based on the time window uh, over the next three months that uh, they have to produce the bags within, and possibly over uh, the amount of labor that they have and hours in the work week. Um, so this is a pretty, pretty normal problem. And what makes it uh, a linear programming model is the thing we want to maximize uh, in any kind of business setting is usually profit margin. So uh, we've got <coughs> um, ten dollars for a standard bag and nine dollars for a deluxe bag. So when you have these problems, what you want to do is you want to organize your information. So let's let S capital S equal the number of standard bags produced and D equal the number of deluxe bags produced. And then we want to basically write down <coughs> <coughs> the thing that we want to maximize. So total profit is going to be found by just taking 10 times the number of standard bags plus um, 9 times the number of deluxe bags. So uh, this is what we want to maximize. And then we also have some constraints that are placed on us by uh, the company. And <coughs> the uh, analysis. So the first one is that we know the cut and die time has to be 0.7, 7 tenths times the number of standard bags produced plus... Uh, one-tenth, uh, sorry, the cut and die time is one hour for the deluxe model, and this has to be basically less than or equal to the uh, 630 hours of time available. So what I did was I looked at the cut and die time for the standard, the 0.7 times the number of bags we have from that model, the one hour times the number of bags we have for the deluxe model, and this has to be less than the 630 hours of available cut and die time. And then we do it for each of the other equations. So um, we've got half an hour uh, available for um, sewing, so that's times the standard, uh, plus how much time for 5 six of an hour, 5 six times deluxe, this has to be less than or equal to how much available time do we have, um, 600. And then we have the other two constraints as well. Um, one hour for uh, finishing for standard, two-thirds of an hour finishing for deluxe. This has to be less than or equal to the 708 hours of finishing time, and then the last thing we have is the uh, 
inspection time. So we have um, one tenth of an hour of inspection time for standard um, and 0.25 hours times the number of deluxe bags. And that has to be less than or equal to 135 hours of total inspection time. All right, so those are your four constraints. And uh, I'm going to pause this and open up the relevant information the way I like to organize it in Excel. And we'll look at how to use Excel Solver to solve this problem. How do we maximize the profit based on all these constraints? And also another thing to notice is that our uh, variables S and D both have to be greater than or equal to zero. Right, can't have any negative values that are going to make sense for this problem. Um, again, notice that this is a linear programming problem because the thing we're trying to maximize, we only have got numbers and variables, and those variables are each raised to the power of one. So that's what linear means. So uh, I'll be right back with uh, an Excel sheet and show you how to figure this out. Okay, so here's the spreadsheet I used. And uh, basically what I did was, uh, maybe if I can put these side by side, I took each of the coefficients on the constraints, 0.7, under a standard uh, times one for the deluxe, and I did it for each of the four constraints on the operation. Cut and, oh, that says dry, it should be die. Um, cut and die, so finish, uh, and inspect. And then I created a row for bags produced, and then one for total profit. So here I'm going to enter the formula um, for the profit that we had 10 times, and then this bags produced is underneath standard, so it's going to be whatever's in this cell plus nine times whatever number of deluxe bags we produce, which will be in this cell. And then I'll hit enter. It's at zero right now. Just to give it some kind of value, let's put one in for standard. Let's say we just make one of each bag. So then the profit would be $19. Um, so here's basically the top spreadsheet kind of shows the inequalities that we want. Um, and then I'm just going to copy the hours available below. So equals 630 uh, equals, because that's not going to change the hours available for each thing, um, 708, and then equals the amount for inspection. <clears throat> so uh, the hours used is basically going to be a sum product because how many hours total time did we use well we would have used 0.7 for sewing for the standard times one bag plus one times one here so basically we're going to for each operation we're going to have the time it takes per hour for that operation times the number of bags produced of each type so uh, I'm going to use equals here equals sum product and then I want to do this row times, oh, sorry, I wanted to use these two cells um, times these two cells here. And if I want to fill down, notice uh, I'm going to be moving down here. I want to multiply each of these things, but I don't want these two to move. So basically, I want to make uh, these dollar signs around the numbers in the second array so that it keeps looking at the bags produced of each type. So notice we get 1.7, and then what I can do is I can just fill down the hours of uh, the hours used. So notice 0.5 plus 5.6 is 1.33, 1 plus 0.2 is 1.667, 0.1 and 0.25 is 0.35. Okay, so now we're ready to basically uh, use Excel Solver um, to finish this problem off to find the uh, results. So if, uh, just a reminder, we've used Excel Solver before, but if you forget how, it's not automatically included. You want to click File, go to Options, and then um, go to Add-ins, and then choose the Solver add-in, and then click, I think we want to click Go. Um, we want the Solver add-in and the Tool Pack. We'll hit OK, and then we should see it appear right here. So we have solver. So I'm going to click the solver button and <coughs> set objective. That's the thing we're looking to 
maximize. So we want to, there's options, max, min, or get to a certain value, but we want to maximize the profit. And then changing variable cells, we want to maximize the profit by changing the production numbers on the bags of each one produced. And then the constraints, well, we want to add constraints, and we want all of these hours and this and each of these four operations to be less than or equal to the hours available. And then we can say OK. So we've got those constraints there. And then the last thing we want to do, there's this box that says make unconstrained variables non-negative. And notice back in our Word document, uh, our last stipulation was that these are positive. So that's checked. Um, we have this drop down menu for GRG nonlinear or simplex linear programming, which is what we want to choose for a linear programming problem. And then we click solve. And uh, there are some options here. Um, so we can have the answer report and add that. There's also one for some sensitivity analysis and so on. But let's click uh, just OK. And that should appear on the bottom as an additional sheet. Um, so if I can move that down just a little bit, we see uh, there's this answer report one. And it basically tells you, OK, um, this is what we had. And uh, these are the constraints. And uh, we think the maximized value, I just had one bag of each. It jumps to 7,668 um, after we've done the analysis for profit. And how do we get that profit? We get it by changing 540 standard bags made and 252 deluxe bags made. And uh, you can also see in the sheet, it changed the bags produced and the total profit. And it used 630 hours cut and die, 480 out of the 600 available for so, 708 for finish, and 117 out of 135 for inspection. So uh, that's, that's a great way to just set up a simple spreadsheet and solve a linear programming maximization problem. Um, so you might want to keep this spreadsheet in mind because we're going to come back uh, in another video and see how to uh, solve a similar problem, but with a possible nonlinear profit optimization function. Okay, so hope that helped, and good luck on the uh, quiz or assignment.